Just because Halloween's over. This video was actually supposed to be posted on Halloween, but um, See? I don't even have an excuse. It just went like that. Not much of an intro this time. So here's 10 horrible ways animals can put your autobiography in the history section. Dang. Not necessarily, <laughs> but, but it does get like brutal. That. So I'm going to do something I've never done before. Viewer discretion is very much advised. That's the only warning you're going to get. When that music starts, it's up. Also, I kind of owe y'all more Halloween content. So if this gets a certain number of likes, I'll do a part two. All that aside, Let's get to the content. That's a hippo. Hippo potato. When you think of some of the apex predators on the planet, you might think of heavyweights like lions, bears, crocodiles, and of course you got the biggest bully in the ocean. Not the seal, but the killer whale dragging it. But what you probably don't think of is a prehistoric steroid gecko found in only remote islands in the world. And that's exactly what makes the Komodo dragon one of the most underrated killers on the planet. This homicide lizard can grow to 10 feet long, weigh oh, nearly 200 pounds, and right? swim, and can run. You never heard of Komodo dragon? No. It's said lizard, so I know it's a big ass. Yeah, this is a giant ass lizard. Them niggas always got some drool coming out of their shit, though. Yeah, that's crazy. And they, and they like, their tongue is like snakes. Like, they yeah. have like a snake tongue. like The, the two piece? Mm -hmm. They're like a reptile. Yeah. It's like a, but they they don't don't eat, it's crazy because I heard they don't eat uh, humans like that. They don't target humans. Flat lizard can grow to 10 feet long, weigh nearly 200 pounds, Dang. and swim, and can run faster than your mental health is prepared for. Dang. This video isn't sped up, but the most lethal thing about them is something you can't see. The Komodo dragon has up to 60 razor sharp serrated kitchen knives for teeth tough enough to dissect the full grown buffalo and tear flesh in chunks. But it's how they catch their prey that's unsettling. It was believed that a Komodo septic bite was potent enough to cause his victim to retire to a bacterial infection. Oh, fun fact as well, their spit is also used to catch like bugs too, so when they get that in there, it is. <laughs> fun fact. It turns out this modern day dinosaur uses a toxic venom that it injects into its prey. This venom reduces the body's blood clotting abilities and makes it more likely for you to bleed out once wounded. Yep. Other symptoms include lowering of blood pressure, shock, and muscle paralysis, and that last one's going to be real important later. The venom's so powerful that just one bite can be a death sentence for a tank like a water buffalo. Damn. Which means Komodos don't have to waste energy trying to chase down a meal. Oh, All they have to do is critically wound their prey and then wait for them to die. And because these reptiles that time left behind are only found on remote islands, and they have a borderline disrespectful sense of smell. On the island, yeah. you can go where this lizard Liam Neeson won't eventually track you down. And the reason paralysis is being a symptom is such a problem is because Komodos won't exactly wait for their prey to be past tense. Just as long as they're too weak to fight back or run away. Because these lizards will eat their prey alive, but the only relief coming when you eventually flatline the blood loss. And even though venom's the main suspect, you can still get clapped by a slow, painful bacterial infection. The first response of animals like buffalo after they've been wounded is to escape into nearby water. Going into unclean water with an open wound is how you lose your life to a horrific case of sepsis. And again, your life doesn't have to end for his meal to begin. Not only have Komodo dragons been known to attack humans, they've been recorded seeking out human graves, digging out the corpses, and then feeding on whatever human remains they find. Nothing on this island is safe from a Komodo. Not even another Komodo. Because Komodo hey, actually hey, spend most of their childhood up in the trees. Why? Adults. Uh, yeah, I know this too. Adults eat the babies, man. 
I ain't gonna lie. Eh? So they spend most of their life up in the tree. So they so they can't get ate up. It's the young boy animal, bro. It's the <laughs> This nigga don't give a fuck, bro. No, it's crazy because they, they don't they don't usually kill humans, but sometimes they can have a knack for it. But a knack, this nigga is digging, bro. That is the most disrespectful shit. Niggas is digging graves, bro. Hey, bro, look. I this, guess, look, that is out of pocket. Look, bro. But I even humans, I mean, some humans do that. I ain't gonna say it. Bro. Niggas out here digging graves and smacking their ass. Like, bro, he already dead, bro. Now, what is it? What is that to eat? There's no meat on it. It's a bone. Yeah, but, you understand that these niggas will put you in grave danger. This nigga put you in the grave and then come in the grave and eat your ass again. I, so I guess that bar just flew past your head. No, no, I got it. I get it, man. Thank put you, him man. in grave danger. Grave danger. Grave, grave danger. Grave danger. Yeah. Nah, I see what you did there. Because that was a grave mistake that you just did. Bitch, that be the fuck up. <laughs> ah! Photos are cannibals that'll devour any young dragons they run into, even if it ends up being their own children. We're talking God about a 10 foot venomous steroid chameleon that'll well. track you down no matter where you go and will friendly fire its own kind. <laughs> and it's only the first animal on this list. Bro. Meet Editor X. Imagine busting the world's most advanced website this. design platform. <laughs> 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 the creator who saves the invisible. Imagine uh, busting not having kids and just be like, oh, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> say, it's so, it's so cute. I've been waiting on this meal for nine months. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah. sighs> we talked about these winged bastards God, a couple videos yeah, ago, so this that. is going to be a quick one. Now, plenty of birds eat other birds, but few are as sadistic about it as these overgrown ice vultures. Even though giant petrels are scavengers, they will target and jump weaker and injured penguins as well as snatch up any unaccompanied penguin chicks they can find. I I think you, you saw that motherfucker just snatch a little bird and just fucking eat it. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I think it was a little big little that the mm -hmm. But look at that other Joe right there. He's like, happy! <laughs> Just like a lot of animals you're gonna see on this list, giant petrels will eat their struggling prey alive in groups and they have a nasty habit of breaking in through the back door. I can't show you, but there are videos of these prison pigeons pulling out the intestines of a penguin through its anus. All while the penguin was alive and fighting for his life and the sanctity of his booty. He lost oh! both. And it's not just penguins that get victimized. Giant he pe ate the fucking penguin's ass while it was alive, pulling out its gut. Oh, no, 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 no. Niggas is pulling out cocks through the asshole. No. Ah! On some head the intestines was coming out the... The penguin's the intestines was coming out the bubble and he was eating it. Like, because he was eating the intestines from his bubble. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Petrels will attack other seabirds like the albatross and put them out of commission by forcing them underwater until they drown. But nobody gets it worse than penguins. Oh, yeah. The giant the petrel is so vicious right? that once one snatches a chick, its parents usually won't even bother trying to save its life. Meaning Happy Feet could have ended with Mumble getting brutally shot shanked by a gang of flying booty bandits, all while his parents just sat and watched. And since a penguin's they vital organs are protected by a layer of fat, penguins can take a lot of damage before permanently piecing out. Alternatively, penguins can suffer through hours of abuse before experiencing the sweet release of death. One researcher watched a gang of about 20 petrels tear apart a penguin that had already been mauled by a fur seal until there was nothing but a skeleton with feet attached. Don't think you're safe. The, the southern giant petrel has been like nicknamed a stinker because they'll feet, feed on bro. any rotting, decaying carcass. To the point where these birds will tailgate the boats and consume whatever foul, putrid nastiness the sailors dumped off. Petrels eat the same way they live, with no conscience. So if you're ever injured or incapacitated somewhere in the Antarctic, pray that help finds you before this bird does. You won't be a fan of how that movie ends. It'll end the same way if you're ever chased oh, yeah. by a pack of African wild Bro. dogs. Oh, yeah, in a neighborhood with lions and hyenas, these dogs are actually the most fun. efficient killers on the plains, with a hunting success rate of about 80%. Yep. These African bush cujos have a very complex and nuanced it's hunting strategy. It's they like just you need to happen, you need keep to running. These killer canines can run you down at speeds of nearly 40 miles per hour for a distance of over 3 miles, and in a sprint they can clock in at a blistering 45. All running away does is delay the inevitable. It's like hitting the snooze button on death. Once the prey gets chased into exhaustion, the dogs will clamp those jaws around the panicking prey's snout and flank and force it to the ground. And for the third time on this list, they don't wait for you to stop breathing and start eating. And the bigger and stronger you are, the more you suffer. Because they're able to put down animals like warthogs in as little as two to five minutes. 
but tank your animals like the wildebeest could spend the last 40 minutes of its life being gruesomely mauled by a pack of about 15 merciless murder hounds. And once the entire pack... Ah, just the mad, bro, like these animals, bro. Like, usually when you get jumped, like, well, I mean, none of us ever got jumped, but usually when you get jumped, it's like, that shit's like two, two, three minutes, five minutes, niggas jumping your shit. Yeah. These niggas is getting jumped for 40 minutes straight, bro. Well, it's because, you know, like you said, like when they run, all it does is just delay it. Like, what they do is they hunt you until you're tired, until you can't mm -hmm. run anymore, and then they'll fuck your ass up, like. No, because he said the, the big ones, it's like. The stronger you are, the, the more, like, uh, he said 40 minutes because, of course, they're going to run, which delays it. And then the fact that they're strong, they're just gonna like, it's just gonna take them a bit to get Bro, down. This motherfucker mm -hmm. run for like motherfucking three miles, non stop. Going like 45, 40, 40, 40 miles or whatever. Miles. Nah, they can go up to speeds of 40 miles per hour. I don't think a buck or a bill was running that fast. A little less two to five minutes. But tank your animals like the wildebeest can spend the last 40 minutes of its life being gruesomely mauled by a pack of about 15 merciless murder hounds. And once the entire pack has you surrounded, there's virtually zero escape. And African wild dogs have the unsettling habit of starting meals off by tearing a hole in the abdomen and pulling the intestines out so they can get to the organs and fat first. To add insult to life chance of injury, unlike lions, African wild dogs give puppies priority and let them eat first. So not only would you still get disemboweled, it would be the cutest members of the pack doing it first. Basically, imagine being chased by a gang of animals that never get tired, while knowing once they catch you, they'll confiscate your intestines and feed on your organs. All while you wait for the man upstairs to call your number. What could possibly be worse than that? Well... Hyenas are everything African wild dogs are, but on juice. And even though hyenas are genetically closer to cats and mongooses, hyenas basically behave like dogs on steroids. Thanks to Lion King, people believe hyenas were just cowardly scavengers that only- Hyenas are the worst way to die, especially when you get hunted by a pack of them, because they, they scatter bite. They don't just- I don't know. I, no, they, 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 they uh, scatter bite, nigga. So when they, when they, when they doing that, while they're doing that, it's like piranhas. They're tearing fucking flesh off of you. Yeah. Oh man, that's the worst way to die. It, 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 and all you hear, imagine being, being pitch black, right? You in the middle of a fucking desert. And all you hear is, The truth is, not only do hyenas personally work 70 to 80 percent of their meals, they're actually more efficient at it than lions are. And it's all because hyenas and African wild dogs have one very unsettling thing in common. They're both serial killers on Duracell, meaning the bastards never get tired. <laughs> Spotted hyenas can run at high speeds for over five miles without even thinking about being tired. Which is why they don't have to ambush or one-shot their prey like lions, they'll just chase them into oblivion until one of them gives up. And hyenas don't give up. It doesn't help that hyenas have jaws strong enough to amputate a rhino. With a bite strength of about a thousand pounds of force, hyenas are tough enough to eat virtually any part of an animal. They have such a habit of eating the bones of the deceased that their poop often comes out white. With a vice grip for a mouth and an eating habit of a coffin, if a clan of hyenas is your serious finale, then the only thing your family will have left to bury are memories. Because once you're on this overgrown mongoose's meal prep, there won't be a lot of you left to put in the casket. And since there can be up to 80 members in a clan, and just one can take down 30 pounds of meat in one sitting, you would basically be a Ritz cracker to them. But if I'm being honest, the real reason hyenas are on this list is because of this video. And guys, y'all can feel this one. They don't get tired. Hyenas have a devious habit of going for... Hyenas have a devious habit of going for the family honey pot, but it is for. There's nothing you can do. Nigga, go to find honey pot. Like, uh, imagine like there's nothing you can do as a buffalo or whatever the fuck that was. What? What? You expect the motherfucker to stand up on his two legs and say nope? Like what? No. Like you. There's nothing you can do. Bro, bro imagine we just go to the mud nuts, nigga. You don't even gotta try that hard, nigga. Well, at least you can protect it. Oh my god. You got legs. You got hands. 
At least you can protect it. But that motherfucking shit is all the way behind us. He can't do shit. <laughs> but be honest, bro. You think the first thing an animal? You think the first thing in your head? Oh, he's coming straight from my nuts. <laughs> You're not thinking that shit, bro. Oh, bro, I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about killing that thing. He's not coming straight for me at all. Oh, I'm thinking, oh, God. he's coming at me, so I'm gonna kill him, like nigga. Whether it's my nuts or not. For a reason. Hyenas don't have the ability to instantly end their prey the way big cats do. So for larger animals like the buffalo, it's way easier to perform a hands-free vasectomy and just wait for blood loss to do the work for you. Imagine a mouse trap on your baby factory, but with the force of an adult moose stepping on it. Yeah. This next animal is probably going to be the most unexpected on this list, but let me paint a picture. Take a wolverine, right? Put it on creatine, Wolverine's give it the crazy. personality of a power tool, and then dump it in the same area code as some of the most vicious carnivores in the jungle. This face of generational trauma belongs to the sloth bear. Yes, the one from Jungle Book. Sloth bears may not look like much, they're easily dwarfed by some of the more brawling bears, one of which may be on this list. They're not even super notorious predators, as insectivores of sloth bears grocery list is mostly ants and termites. But don't let the sloth in this name fool you, these furry chainsaws know how to get active. Sloth bears share an environment with leopards and tigers, and tigers have been known to actively hunt and eat them. Which is why the sloth bear is one of the most aggressively homicidal bears out there. Even though they have a size disadvantage, a pissed off slothy has been known to drive off even the most motivated tiger. And sometimes these bears clutch a 2v1. And since sloth bears can't escape Damn. each other like a man. And sometimes these bears clutch a 2v1. Yeah, and since sloth bears one. can't escape, oh, damn, like a two black bears. it's like nature told this dark skin crew that violence was an option. Years of character wild. development means this demon yogi will view almost anything alive as a threat, and that includes humans. America. Almost anything alive as a threat, and that includes humans. Sloth bear attacks are incredibly brutal. The same claws they use to destroy concrete like termite mounts can disavow you with one sweat. Knows? And unlike grizzlies, because sloth bears do have to worry about predators, they're much more likely to attack unprovoked. According to first hand accounts, sloth bears will often maul their victims and then chew and suck on their limbs until they're reduced to a bloody, mushy pulp. Sloth bears also typically go for the face, incapacitating their victims while biting and slashing to the point where neither your mother or your iPhone can recognize you. And of course, an animal that motivated usually won't stop until you're not moving. Which is why even in tiger country, more people get sent to the emergency room by the baloos in the jungle. And if you're really unlucky, if one's able to sever a critical artery with those adamantium fingernails, then your series finale will involve you bleeding into the afterlife. One man was able to survive a particularly brutal mauling at the hands, or paws, of this bear. He recalled feeling immense pressure as the bear tackled him, put its full weight on him, and crushed his leg in its jaws like a celery stick. When the bear was put out of commission, the man thought he got off easy. Until he looked at his leg and realized the bear had torn an entire chunk of his flesh to the point where he could see his muscles moving. And in rare cases, these bears have been known to stab at. One infamous bear known as the Sloth Bear of Mysore had a human body count of at least 12 people while having also severely mauled another dozen. So when I call this bear a box cutter with claws, I'm talking about both his personality and the way his oh. victims tend to look yeah, after. But of course, impressive. it's not the only bear on this list. That thing is great. I can't believe this shit. Because when you're one of the few animals oh, that actively hunt you're humans, you're, right. you're guaranteed. I did my research on this Thanks to global warming, most of the polar bear's hunting it's range is now under water. A desperate polar bear will even attempt to go after walruses, even though walruses can one-shot them with those tusks. But a starving bear will resort to putting humans on the list if they get the chance. A polar bear is like a maxed-out bloodhound. They can smell a seal from a mile away, and they can even track its scent through three feet of ice. Which is why it's been said, if you see this Caucasian carnivore in the wild, it's already too late. There's a good chance the bear's been hunting you for hours or even longer. This is Tim Jarvis, and during an expedition in the Arctic, he was allegedly stalked by a polar bear for a total of 10 days. Now add the fact that they can outswim every heat at the Olympics, and sprint fast enough to get a ticket in the school zone, and you'll see why getting on this ice killer's radar is a death sentence. Remember how African wild dogs tear into their prey while still alive? Bears are just triple XL dogs that usually clamp their jaws on the prey's back to disable it. And the back is usually where they start eating from, with the intestines being one of the first things to get pulled out. Also, polar bears are estimated to have a bite force of about 1,200 pounds per square inch, oh. believed to be strong enough to crack a bowling oh. ball. And if one paw swipes your back, at best you'll be a paraplegic. To crack a bowling ball. This motherfucker said 1,200 pounds oh. per square foot. Do you know how? Do you know how head? Do you not know how much horse that is? 
fourth, but he said it's strong enough to crack a fucking bowling ball. You know, how like it's a jawbreaker or something. Right. Do you you know what a bowling ball is? Oh yeah, nigga, I'll put this motherfucker. Now, if you put that shit in his mouth, it can break it. Nigga, that's it can crack it. Somebody's skull getting snapped. Bowling ball way harder than a skull. I know, I know. I'm, I'm saying like bowling ball is still still hard. Bro, but nigga, a skull is not as hard as a. If he wanted ball. to, he could treat our skulls like a fucking boiled chicken bone. Nigga, like a fucking bowl by pop, nigga. Like you ever, <laughs> you ever boiled chicken bone? You ever boiled chicken bones? Yeah. Pull that shit out. It just like a. Bro, he could, bro, 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 our, bro, our, our bro. fucking skulls are potato bro. chips to this nigga. Think that worse you'll be a hashtag. And at least sloth bears attack at self-defense. When a polar bear puts someone on the news, you can be sure it was 100% premeditated. And the worst part of it all is that normally polar bears wouldn't see humans as happy meals. They prefer the fat, nutrient-rich seal. But because of what we've done to their hood now, polar bear doesn't even need to see you or hear you. If you're a mile downwind of a starving polar bear, that could really be all it takes. Remember the rule of thumb. If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, best get on the ground. If it's white like the president, you finna be heaven sent. <laughs> The African wilderness has some of the most vicious and violent predators on the planet. Some of them we've actually already talked about. So it says a lot that out of all of them, the one nicknamed Black Death is actually a vegetarian. The African cave buffalo erases about 200 names from the census each year. That's not counting the people that live but still get severely gored. They're also strong enough to rag dogs, oh, like yeah, lions, hyenas, and of course, oh, people. Those horns aren't just for intimidation. When a cave buffalo charges, the hooked end of its horns can get caught under the skin and tear apart the flesh of a predator or a tourist that just doesn't know any better. Of course, at 1,300 pounds, they don't need horns to end you. They can easily just trample you into a chalk outline. Yeah, yeah, but there's yeah, another yeah, thing yeah. about them that makes them not only a walking yeah, obituary, yeah. but earn them another nickname, oh, oh my the Widow Maker. Because yeah, yeah. one of the fastest ways to get a divorce is to tell your husband to go hunt a cave buffalo, because then you'll probably <laughs> go to bed single. And that's because this Widow Maker is one of the most vengeful animals on Earth. A wounded funny, cave bro. buffalo will often retreat and hide in tall grass or brush. Now, if the hunter has more than one brain cell, he'll usually just give up and leave the beast alone. But if you make the mistake of following the injured animal, then you run the risk of getting ambushed and knocked clear into the ground. And after hitting you, the cape buffalo will just back up and wait for you to get back on your feet just so they can hit stick you again. They'll keep doing this until you just stop getting up. And that's just what one can do to you. These guys can travel in hoods of up to 200. And these herds will often circle a possible you know, like, no possibility. And they'll just keep circling until one eventually sees an opening and attempts to impale you. And the same rules apply. If you're still moving, they're not finished. That kind of attitude is why lions cosplay as house cats when a herd of buffalo is involved. And why hunting one should come with a life insurance package. And out of the entire starting lineup known as the African Big Five, these murder cows are considered to be the biggest threat. But ironically, one of the most feared mammals on the entire continent isn't on this list. Isn't on this list. Yeah, no suspense here. Hippos are just waterproof horses with a senders address from hell. Mouth, Hippos put about 500 names in Twitter bios a year, and that number is probably higher. They're famous for choosing violence with anything in their territory, from antelope and crocodile, bruh, all the way to <laughs> lions, humans, and literally everything else. I mean, yeah, like, if you have a pulse, they'll find a reason to hate you. In fact, the biggest threat to a hippo's way of life is very literally often another hippo. Because oftentimes when resources are low, bull hippos will see babies as competition and will turn the adorable infants into fish food. Here's a dark joke for you. Where did the baby hippo go after the baby shower? Everywhere. He went everywhere. Despite being the third heaviest thing on the planet with legs, hippos can run at speeds of 30 miles per hour. Yeah, and they can outswim you, or technically outrun, because hippos don't swim, they literally run underwater. And I don't think that makes this video any better. But just like actress Tiana Trump, it's that mouth that makes them infamous. Bull hippos have tusks that can max out at 20 inches long, and it can slam their jaws at nearly 2,000 pounds of force. But if you've ever seen one eat a watermelon, you already knew that. Which is why the biggest mistake a croc can make is pull up to a hippo pool party, because it can end up getting turned into a purse. And the biggest mistake a person can make is getting too close. I hope this is photoshopped. Hippos are one of those animals that don't need a reason to turn you into a statistic. Hippos don't typically eat meat, but their attack style involves using that massive overbite and chewing a person into human applesauce. And it's the attacks in water that are the most brutal. Even if you survive, the toll for crossing hippo territory can cost an arm, a leg, multiple broken bones, and even a punctured lung or two. One tourist guide in Zimbabwe was allegedly swallowed by this land well not once, but three times. And you want to know the worst thing about getting deep-throated by this obese demon donkey? Other than the smell. 
It's knowing that your options are to either stay inside and suffocate or try to escape and end up negotiating your left arm in the process. As for the tourist guide, by the time he got out, he had suffered 38 bite wounds, including one so nasty it exposed his lungs and completely crushed one of his arms. This man rescued an orphan baby hippo from a flood and raised him as his own. He even named it Humphrey and said it was like a son to him. Well, Humphrey ended up mauling and mutilating his foster father in the same river he was rescued from. That's honestly how most movies with hippos end. But at least hippos are so massive they're impossible to miss. The next animal is the size of a golf ball but could turn 26 people into a very loaded story on CNN. Bruh. Bruh. The blue ring octopus is a lot of things. Tiny, cute, and it's one of the most venomous things alive. It's armed with a neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin, and a lethal dose for a human could fit on the head of a pin. Plenty of animals are venomous in Australia, from the jellyfish right down to the parrots. But there's one disturbing fact about blue ring octopus. The blue ring octopus is so small that most people don't even realize when they've been bitten. And because they're so small and cute, some people will put the octopus in their hands not realizing they're putting their lives in the octopuses. Because not only is tetrodotoxin 10,000 times more powerful than cyanide, the neurotoxin shuts down muscles by blocking yeah. sodium channels. This decision can lead to muscle paralysis, yeah. respiratory failure, cardiac arrest, and then a permanent rest. Which is why one of the smallest animals on this list can turn you into past tense in as the last 30 minutes. And remember, you don't... Translating that in English, basically, if any animal was to even think about eating that, they're done. <laughs> Feel when this blue rim Bundy bites you, meaning you can hold it like this for three seconds and then flatline in the same hour. Yep. And if you're swimming while that paralysis hits, uh, use your imagination. Oh, and there's no antidote. All medical professionals can do is hook you up to a respirator and manage your breathing just long enough to keep you alive. But with immediate medical attention, the chances of getting put in a casket by this blue ring hellspawn are actually pretty low. But with a bite that's impossible to feel, it's very possible to not realize you've been wounded. And without medical attention, the chance of your soul getting evicted suddenly becomes a lot higher. Which means this lady just barely a Eurostep becoming a name on a stone in one of the worst ways possible. Because <laughs> anything that tries yeah, this... Fucking Euro <laughs> <laughs> said the Eurostep that she has. Like said, that means this lady right here fucking Eurostep her fucking death, nigga. <laughs> no, bro. Damn, bro. Bro, is it, is it me or is it the, the way this nigga like... Like describes it. Explain it. it. That's it's why, yeah. And the words that you use, yeah. That's it why makes I, it more yeah. intense. It's like oh, my nigga. Oh, the chance of your soul getting evicted suddenly becomes a lot higher. Which means this lady just barely Eurostep becoming a name on a stone in one of the worst ways possible. Because anything that tries this hard to be seen is probably more toxic than future. That goes for octopus and people. This last one deserves its own viewer discretion warning because in some ways it's the most disturbing animal on this list. Not only does it have the highest human body count, you can be a victim and not even realize it. That's because it's believed that over 1 billion people in the world are infected with... That's because it's believed that over 1 billion people in the world are infected with... Parasitic worms. They're especially a problem in places with limited access to clean drinking water. But don't think this is just some third world problem. All you have to do is swim in waters containing eggs and you can lose a lottery and become a landlord to these parasites. Once inside you, these worms can cause a bunch of nasty infections and complications, but there's one disease that really stands out. These demonic flesh ropes are filarial worms, and they're as thin as sewing threads. And their favorite hangout spot is in your lymph nodes, where a bunch of them can block fluids from leaving the body, which can cause tissues in the body to swell almost like a disturbing cartoon. Which is how a worm you need a microscope to see can cause a nightmarish condition known as elephantiasis. The situation where your leg can swell to the same size and color as an elephant's. And it doesn't just give you double sized cankles. All guidelines will allow me to say is Google South Park Wheelbarrow. Get infected with filarials and you might need one. But the unsettling part is you may never know you've been violated by filarial. I seen a guy on TikTok, TikTok yeah, yeah, with a big leg. And he's like trying to raise money so he can get surgery. Mm. Uh, but so, he can still walk and shit, but it's like his leg is, it looks like this. Yeah. Both legs. It's huge, bigger than, it's like two times of those. Yeah, so that means that shit happened. Yeah. That shit probably happened to him. Because that's what he said today. People ask him, like, like what happened? He said, like, he went to, like, the beach or some shit or whatever, and then he came back and his legs started swelling and shit. 
Damn, you won't even feel it. Yeah, you, you, like, you can be a victim. I'm not know. swimming no more, yeah. bro. Fuck oh. the beach, bro. Feels until it's too late. Millions of people around the world are infected, and a lot of them have no idea. Which means, of course, statistically, someone watching this video has to have it. If it makes you feel any better, if you live in America, you apparently can't get infected with filarial worms. But you're not safe from the hundreds of other parasites that can turn your insides into an Airbnb. Around the world, hundreds of millions of people are infected with parasitic worms as we speak. And if you happen to be asymptomatic, they can put a whole mortgage down on your body and you would be the last to know. And that's just about it for this video. If you actually enjoyed this video, first of all, you're a psychopath. But also my Patreon is going to be in the description in case you want to support this very questionable content. In fact, you could have watched this video two days before I posted it on Patreon. But as always, please don't feel like you have to send money in order to show support. Please feel like you have to subscribe though. I'm not playing with y'all. Subscribe or I'm just going to assume you have worms. Also follow my Instagram <laughs> if for no other reason but to help me get verified. There's videos on there too, but honestly, I just want that blue check more than a Nike athlete. Happy Halloween, Happy drink water, day. hug your mother, and have a nice day. Even though I probably just ruined it. <laughs> hey, okay, okay. Nice nice day. Day. Nigga, bro, you ruined my day, nigga. I mean, that motherfucker. Oh, oh. fuck it. Oh. Hey, bro, anywho, bro. No, that's it for this video. Um, like he said, if you enjoyed this video, you'll yeah, satisfy <laughs> Hey, bro. Hey, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're new. God, God loves you. God bless you. And we easy out of here. Hey, man, y'all stay safe, man. Bro. Don't go in the jungle, bro. Bro. You might get fucked up.